Spindle turning, very clean cut. It takes a lot of practice to get this kind of cut here. Um, probably skew, skew and uh, spindle gouges probably, but that's really pretty. Um, it's Terry. It's Terry, Terry Brown is really professional work. So very clean. Chris. Yes, sir. Let me hit on that thing. Oh, yeah. Come on, Terry. Come on, Terry. Come on, Terry. There's a big, I don't know, my wife's all this stuff on the internet. Okay. <laughs> Are these, what they call, gazing balls? Okay. Yeah. The last ball is silvered on the inside. This one's made for the gazing ball. So the top side is recessed sufficiently enough that the ball will touch here. And then, and then you can put your your sealant or your caulking or whatever you're going to put on there to hold the ball in place. It's drilled through big enough for rebar. If you didn't want it sitting flat on the ground, you can make it some sort of pedestal. And then you pick out where you want it, you drive your rebar, you set it down over it, and so it doesn't fall. That's it. With a cedar? This one is a red cedar. Red cedar? Yeah. How long does that it take you to make it? I did. 80 some of these at once, so. That's a long bed. Yeah. This is a this part down the neighbor's yard. <laughs> this, was, this was a reject. You got these big voids in it. So if you go ahead and get you a bug cutter and a four spin bed, just start drilling and stuff it in there because you can put putty and all that other stuff and it's just going to move too much and fall out. You can do it this way and just stick it in, blow it, turn it back down, and this little bit here won't bother a thing. And then paint it? You just yep. paint it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, you paint it. And you, you, if you're going to do this, you need to make sure that you get a primer that's good for the cedars and the redwoods. There's, there's a chemical in here that bleeds out. If you ever been past a house that has cedar siding, you see little brown spots through the paint, they do not need the right primer. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've got to know the house if you're concerned about it enough. But, and if you painted something brown to start with, it doesn't matter if you have a real light <laughs> color. <laughs> and in place if you have a knot, it will show through brown. How long did it take you to turn 80 of them? <laughs> Same question. <laughs> it took more than one, one day one afternoon. <laughs> Sets them up here. I can bring my whole heart by the staircase that you turn for me. That's right, we got that too. <laughs> Some people go through super glue really quickly. Yeah. And so when I was at the woodcraft the other day, they showed me these tips, and they are well worth it. They're only about so big, and it goes inside of the tip on your glue. You unscrew it, slide this in and pull it up tight. And I've only had these clogged up about two or three times. And then I just cut it off. And you can just do one drop at a time. You can get right down in those little spots. And I would have used a full container of glue by now. And I'm not even down to half one. And, and I didn't have near as much of my fingers. So you, you don't cap those, you just leave them open because the opening's so That's small? It. Yeah, just let them open. And the other thing, since I'm here, if anybody's interested in making some, doing some turning in grain, pestle, and mortar, <laughs> yeah. you and this man right here. You need something like that, buddy. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. Uh, and it's it's from meat, from meat show. It doesn't I mean, putting food in here to come. Yeah. So if anybody can we have a stool, beautiful stool. Wow, this is really nice. Heavy. That's mine. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yeah, it's uh, Joe's. And look at the detail on the bottom. He took the time to turn a small sphere mounted in the bottom. Really great joinery. He's got the uh, legs coming through the top, all sealed. Looks like oak legs. And what is the uh, bobinga? Bobinga. Okay, very heavy. 
That's beautiful. It's a great piece. Very nice. It's got a nice soft satin finish too on it. I finished it with a uh, high gloss tongue oil. Tongue oil is good. And three uh, wax on the leg. Okay. Nice. We have a cedar piece. Um, Bob's. Okay. Hey. Is that Yeah, that was a really strange, a large and really strange shape. Okay. Red cedar, so that profile you're looking at is actually the outside of the tree. Okay. Double. <coughs> and it turned out I thought it was pretty different. What's your finish on that? It's lacquer. Lacquer? Hey, Bob's a professional turner, does beautiful work, uh, nice foot on there, uh, uniform thickness all the way through the rim, uh, nice shape on the inside, nice smooth finish on the inside. It's pretty Bob. Um, we have a very fine piece here. This is a beautiful, absolutely gorgeous curve coming right above the uh, tabletop. You like to see a curve come right over where it's sitting. So that's a beautiful piece of wood. Um, Curly, curly ambrosia. Mike Bielot. We gotta get Mike to demo for us. Yeah. Oh, Michael. No, no Mike Bielot, right? No, Mark. Thank, oh, Mark. You. Mark. Thank you, Mark. Can't tell, but no, okay. Mark. You have a very unique signature. Yeah. So that was uh, turned wet? Was that turned wet? Yeah. Okay. Looks like the rim moves. That's a gorgeous shape. It really is a beautiful shape. Inside, you have that just sweeping, nice inside curve. Gorgeous. Um, brings it up to the fine edge, which is really nice. I know you're thrilled with it, but set it down on the little glass thing so the rest of can see. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's all on it. <laughs> so uh, you can tell it, it was turned more on the wet side, which is fine because wood is natural, it'll move. Uh, Marilyn's my new hero. <laughs> 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 so anyway, that's really pretty. You kept holding it up like this, but you can't see that shape, shape on your hand. I know, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, we have another one from Mark. Mark is doing some beautiful work. Um, Do you know what, what that is? I don't know. Probably Hollywood. It looks like Hollywood. What, what, what could be Mark and Hollywood? That is a Okay. So, Mark Mark features here is it just a beautiful curve brought down through the foot that's the right diameter. Sometimes the foot's either too big or too small, but that foot works for that piece, and the opening is about the right proportion for the size of the piece. So that that works. It's a nice natural finish too. Well, well actually that's not finished yet. I, I, that's, it's sort of still drying. That was my first uh, attempt at doing something that was hollow. Okay. Pretty. We have a natural edge. It's like elm or spruce. It's maple. Maple? Okay. Spalted maple, very uh, artistic uh, rim. What's cool about the rim, it's, it's uniform all the way through. The thickness is the same thickness at every elevation. The curve is gorgeous. You know, nice. It, it was three trunks grown together, and this is the inside of it. Yeah, I love pieces like that. That's, that's gorgeous. Oh, the symmetry. Capture of, it's yeah. amazing, yeah. You know, symmetry. fun bark inclusions, a couple of bark inclusions. Two that's horse heads. museum quality, everybody. That's really nice. That, that's tough okay. to turn, too, because it's got yeah, big highs and lows. It's actually more of a closed form than you think it is, too. Yeah. Because it, it yeah. looks open, but it's right. not. It's closed. I like that. The foot's to about the right diameter, too. That's nice. And he engraved the bottom, which is always nice to see. That's beautiful. Um, here's a little box. Nice lid. Um, 
from engraved on the bottom. Cho chose to leave it on the heavy side, which is fine. That's an art um, design choice, you know, whether you want to put a thin, delicate piece or more of a heavy, substantial piece. That's a little on the heavier side, which is fine. Spall to top to offset the hardwood base. Uh, that's pretty. This is stamped on the bottom, River Birch. S Mall M O L. Uh, it's an architectural piece. The beveled edge, which is is fun. Um, my preference would be to take this thinner on the inside, but it's it's an artist choice. I drink fresh water. <laughs> this is one of my pieces. I, I wanted to experiment a little bit with eucalyptus. This is from Mike, our wood guy. He had this at his uh, his wood area, his uh, sawmill, and uh, it was just a four by four. So I thought it'd be fun to, because I could see the shimmer on the side of the uh, rough block, and I thought, wow, wouldn't it be cool to have that on the side of a piece? So, you may have told before. Do you use a hollowing system? I do. I have a number of hollowing tools with an armor. Uh -huh. Then I have the. Uh, Trent Bosch stabilizer system, which is fantastic. Really like that. And the arm brace, Stewart arm brace also. Mm -hmm. yeah. This goes all the way into the bed, and all the way down. Um, we have uh, another one of Bob, Bob's pieces. Yeah, Bob's an excellent turner. Beautiful artistic shape there. That one was done pretty quickly, just as an example. Go. It's fun to have an experiment with finials and you can have a thicker finial or taller and thinner, however you want to do it. More like a knob. It's a knob. Oh. You really need a knob to pull it off. <laughs> it does fit. Yeah, it does. That, that works. Nice curve down to a little foot, which is cool. Down. <laughs> I like the difference in the color too, Bob, and it's up above the halfway point, which is nice. Yep. It gives it lift when you have an accent that's above the halfway point. It gives it visual lift, which is kind of cool. If this were down here, you would feel you know, it's, it's not right. It could also be a little higher too. It could be. It could be a little higher. This is uh, one of Mike's burls. I was at Mike's uh, shop or Mike's sawmill. And I just saw a big gnarly burl there, and he sold it to me. So I like a curve that comes down to a smaller foot. This is my preference. That's not finished. It's oil, but it's not buffed out yet. And again, I, I like to keep a uniform thickness. I don't like it to be real thin here and thick up here. So I really work hard on the rim to keep it uniform thickness all the way through. Would you buff the inside of that one? I didn't do anything other no, than I said, oil it. Would you? I will. That's going to be a little tricky. Yeah, when I hold it on the buffing wheel, I'll put it over and the wheel will be going like this. And you really hold on to it tight. <laughs> That's Maple Burl. I got three pieces out of the Maple Burl with uh, Mike, uh, Michael McCurley at uh, Coning System showing me that. So I took three other pieces out of the inside of that. Uh, we have an unfinished cedar. Not sure. That's a nice curve here. This needs to be removed there. That's sticking up in the middle. Uh, is that ambrosia maple? Beautiful turn bottom. A lot of work went into that bottom. That's really pretty. Um, artistically, it's cool to have the ambrosia right there. It's an accent. Yeah, that's the reason the lip is there. Oh, okay. I didn't want to cut that away. Yeah, I don't blame it. That's beautiful. So, gorgeous inside. There are no undulations at all. It's nice and smooth. It's really pretty. Um, another piece, similar design as the other one. Um, it's pretty, just an artist's choice on the design. 
I like a beveled rim, that's cool, up to a fine edge. And it's always nice to see a base that's got either engraving or signature or something. Neo, nice uh, rosewood or ebony or cocobolo finial. That, oh, that's pretty inside. Oh my gosh. What the inside? Is that lace wood? Uh, I'm sure. Um, uh, yeah, that's Whose piece is this? Joe Gorman. Joe Gorman. Yeah, Joe. Uh, Joe. Yeah. Uh, that's so, beautiful. Joe, what I think works at Clean Sport. I know. I know. Yeah, it's important. Mm -hmm. And then we have these all go together, I bet. I guess so, yeah. Yes, yeah. they do. So, yeah. There. No. There's some fun little boxes, like uh, rosewood. It's Granadillo from Colombia. Oh, okay. What's it, what's it called again? Granadillo. Granadillo. <laughs> <laughs> This is fun because it has a little coved inside. It's nice and round on the inside. It's a nice, nice shape. It's a beautiful design. It's got the accents with the rings. It's always nice. Rings on the base. A lot of attention to detail in these. This looks like one of ours. There's our pyro, pyro man. Gave it away. <laughs> Burn sphere. Love it. He does some of my favorite pieces. <laughs> uh, very creative. Very creative. Some, uh, some women do Tai Chi. They do a ball form of the Tai Chi. Yep. And they wanted, they wanted about an eight inch ball. So I turned out when you were on. Nice. That's really artistic. I love it. I really do love it. It's only my second big mushroom. And that's actually loose. Um, that's loose in there, which is fine. It's fun. Nice. We have another um, artistic piece. Um, that's gorgeous. A nice shape. That's what Terry was talking about. The, the chemical inside the cedar mm -hmm. has ruined the acrylic because mm -hmm. I didn't seal it before I put the acrylic mm -hmm. shine on it. So you can see the acrylic just right. all of a sudden disappears. Right. And it, so, but anyway, yeah. I, mean, this, I made this at the same time and then I made the base separately. That was at, um, uh, what's his name, Bill, oh. Bill, Bill Wallace. Wallace's oh. Oh. His workshop. workshop. Mm -hmm. I just took that piece of cedar. And I, I was having a hard time knowing how to display spheres, but I really like the way that one looks. Right, mm -hmm. it is. That's yeah. neat. I like how it sits down in there. What can you do about that finish now? Um, do it again. Sand. Or maybe put a sealer on it. Yeah. Terry would recommend it. Uh, so you sealer. would sand that down and then reapply a new sealer to it? Yeah. yeah. I like that. It's really cool. Couple mm -hmm. candlesticks, um, off center, multi axis candlesticks. Mm -hmm. Those are always fun. Mike? Um, It's like Hollywood. Poplar. Poplar. Yeah, Poplar. Poplar. Okay. Um, nice. Very nice. I can see those on my table. Um, this uh, is one of my pieces. Um, it's pecan. And uh, it's like a round shape. You know, try to capture round shape with a uniform edge. This had a lot of fun colored rings through it. Kind of is that that same tree from last from the summer from last summer? Um, yeah. yeah. How many tools did you have to sharpen to get that done? Yep. <laughs> A lot of tool sharpening. Pecan is really um, hard wood, so you have to keep your tool sharp. I'm sorry, what did you say? Pecan. Pecan. Yeah. Pecan. Right. Did that move it after you wrote the purpose? He moved a lot. It really moved dramatically. The drying was tough. It's very challenging. Pecan was drying recently. Um, this is really fun. These are segmented pieces. That's gorgeous. It really is pretty. Beautiful sweeping curve. 
That's a great little Is that just a wood glue joint? Yep. Film dried wood. Gorgeous little set right there. Look at this the is after dawn. You did this after dawn. Yeah, I'm sure. Look at the that. detail. That's phenomenal. Oh, that's, yeah, that's really yeah, captivating. That's I like that that's a lot. It's yeah. beautiful. Those shapes are phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I didn't bash my knuckles once. <laughs> that's gorgeous. That's, I like your base too. That's, that's really striking. Uh -huh. Gorgeous. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. We're in town. <laughs> the big old gamble. Um, we see this on the spin, spin it, put it on You don't have to put that one on the spin. <laughs> 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 <It's laughs> go around with it. <laughs> That's how he sets his person. Okay. I'm looking for a blacksmith. I'd like to find a blacksmith that would pound out an iron hoop. And then I'll turn some more of these where I'll, I'll pound on an iron hoop to make it look like the old uh, mallet that you hit the, the, the steel of strength type thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I have a customer who wants one. Oh, okay. So I just want to make it look authentic by making an iron hoop and hammering it on. Okay. And I know blacksmiths know how to do that. Yeah. Not only make the hoop, but, but do you... Do you, you put it on up? while it's red hot. That's right. Absolutely. You, you hammer it on. You put it on red hot right. and, and then quench it, quench it with right. lots and lots of water. Right, and that's and what the shrink will that's shrink. That's shrink. shrink. Okay, well that's, I'd like to find someone who knows how to. There's a guy, there's a guy at Daniel Boone Village in Hillsborough. In Hillsborough? He's there every weekend. He's okay. Got, he's got his shop set up. Okay. okay. Is he? Whatever you want. Okay. What's cool here is he kept the natural edge. Yes. Which is really nice. Yes. Which is an artistic. That shape. is mulberry, I think. Oh, mulberry, okay. I think so. It's really cool. It was pretty hard. Oh. You bought it. You bought it. Carved uh, carved piece. Um, just creative, artistic. Yeah, it's fun. Very solid. Tracy. Oh, Tracy. Tracy. <laughs> Tracy, does, Tracy does nice work. Just laying down. Yeah. Well, <laughs> how creative is that? That's a really interesting. Uh, what's the green? It's, it's a, a conversation. conversation. Yeah. Piece. It's a leaf, right? Yeah. yeah. That's a conversation piece right it's there. It's a ball. It's yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I like that. Well, it's everybody. It's a tired base. It's a tired base. That's the first, uh, first piece like that I've ever seen. Um, oh, here's a little carved piece. That's interesting. What? Wood burned, wood burned edging uh, with a base, a foot, nice foot on there. That's a nice thickness too. It's not heavy at all. It's fairly thin, it's a very delicate piece. He's got um, wood burning on the inside, which is really cool. It's neat. Yeah, that's really interesting. I love artistic pieces. What kind of wood? This Bradford pair. Bradford oh, okay. Pair. Those pops. Interesting. That's good. Alrighty. Uh, cool. Yeah. Out of, um, <coughs> this just shows you can create a turning out of really any kind of wood, a branch or an off cut, and create something interesting. So I pulled it out of the creek. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. I wanted to. It looked like it was old for you. I pulled out of the creek. And why were you in the creek? I wanted a piece of wood. Looks like oak, you know. Yeah, it's like red oak, yeah. That's, that's really creative. Another yeah. very creative piece. I like it. Is that, is that it? How did, how did you mount it? That's why I saw it.